Meanwhile, a call to action for the University of South Florida. Nearly 90 black professors and staff there signing a letter today to the university president this week. And tonight, Mary O'Connell is following this angle, and she has brand new details on the changes they want to see at USF. Their signatures filled up more than two pages. 88 black faculty and staff from USF, both calling for conversation and change. If universities are successful at incorporating uh, policies and procedures that undermine systemic racism, everybody benefits. Elizabeth Horge Freeman helped spearhead the idea to send a letter to the university's president, outlining a list of recommendations like anti-racist training for school leaders, expanding funding for Africana and Latin American studies, and looking at salary disparities. We also want a closer attention to be paid to the retention and recruitment both of black students but also of black faculty members. The university president also penned a message with the VP of Institutional Equity. They highlighted efforts the school has taken to promote inclusion and opportunity, but also saying how they'll go further by analyzing pay equity and making sure black owned businesses take part as university vendors. I think every institution needs to reevaluate. There are probably some things that we do better than others. I could say in terms of in my faculty right now, there are three black faculty members, um, which is great. Professors say they're encouraged, knowing while progress takes time, the time is now. What I'm seeing is this kind of groundswelling of interest in not only talking about systemic racism, but thinking about concrete action and really putting the effort into working towards that and making that an institutional goal at USF. 88 people initially signed this letter to the president, but I'm told since sharing the letter, at least 10 people asked to be included. In Tampa, Mary O'Connell, ABC Action News.